this is a Haynes 320. Now this is very much a river cruising boat. They build these up in Norfolk, up at Great Yarmouth, and it's a single engine boat. I'm going to show you very quickly underneath actually, because this is a bit different to the norm. Because it's not a planing hull, it's designed for river speeds, it's got a great big long keel all the way along it. Gives it terrific directional stability. But also, if we come round to the back, you'll see there's the propeller, and that is protected by this skeg that comes down underneath and supports the rudder. And it's quite a decent sized rudder as well. So you get good maneuverability at those speeds, which is what this boat is all about. So it's absolutely ideal for river cruising. We're on the River Thames at the minute. You can see it through here on a very blustery day. But um, this is what this boat is really aimed at. So we'll head on board and uh, I'll show you what it's all about. Now, another interesting thing about this boat is that it's an aft cabin configuration. Most of the boats that I show you are aft cockpit, so the cockpit is on the same level as the saloon. What I've done with this one is built a at the back, put a deck on top. Apologies for the wind noise, that'll stop in a moment. And that gives you a raised aft cockpit. Let's go around the front first of all, very quickly. So, these wide side decks for the size of the boat. Then you can come and check around the front. And then that's what she looks like looking back down the boat. But we'll head inside where it's a little bit less drafty. And I'll show you the rest. So, as I say, half cabin. So that's here. And that gives you a raised deck here. And your helm position is up on this deck and protected by this canopy. Of course, this will all come down. It's on a beautiful day. You know, it's all nice and open. People can sit all the way around here. Twin bucket seats. And it's a nice place with a great view because you're raised right up here. So let's go on inside and I'll show you how that works. Now, the engine on this one is a 60 horsepower Nanny. So it's designed to do top speeds of around eight knots and cruise at sort of six or seven knots, river speeds really. So I'll show you the accommodation because that I think is what's most interesting about this boat. Let's go down to the front. So down here, this for a 32 foot boat is a pretty decent owner's cabin with a central double bed, lots of room to get around. And then you've got a hanging locker here and another one on the other side. And I say a pretty decent owner's cabin because that's what it is in most boats, but actually it's not in this one. The owner's cabin is at the back. So let's go back down here. We'll take in the galley. That's on this side. So there's a fridge down here. This is for your cutlery, obviously. There's a gas cooker and then a gas hob with three burners underneath here. And this, of course, is all storage say for plates and cups and all that sort of stuff that you'd want to keep in your galley. Opposite this is the heads and that has your toilet, your wash basin and your shower. A little heated towel rather in there as well, that's nice. And this is back up to the saloon area. You can convert this, the table drops down and make that into a another double bed if you want to and there's a nice seating area opposite so it's a nice social area all around here and a small sideboard area over on this side so this again is a bit of storage and the distribution panel so for all the 12 volt systems for the boat and the battery switches at the bottom but this then is the aft cabin. So as I say, when we came onto the boat, we stepped up and onto a flat deck at the back of the boat, and that gives space to this. Now this, for a 32 foot boat, is brilliant. What it does is it takes the accommodation the whole length of the boat. So that is the very back of the boat down there, and this is the area that normally is just a cockpit on conventional aft cockpit boats. And it works brilliantly because it gives you a completely separate area. You've got a double bed here. This has its own ensuite. like so. And you also have in here then your dressing area. So you've got drawers and behind here is the wardrobe illuminated again, which is nice. But that is absolutely brilliant for river cruising. Not a fast boat. It's just designed to potter along at low speed, taking the scenery. And when you stop, you've got this fantastic accommodation, all this space. The light oak woodwork looks really great, I think. There's also, obviously these blinds come up, but there's also here... ...another big opening section. That whole window will open for more ventilation, so you can get lots of light and air into here. 
And that, I think, is pretty fantastic. It's a bit different to what I normally do. I normally do the big offshore heavy duty stuff, but for a bit of river cruising, that is a fantastic boat. As I say, built by Haynes. I'll put a link to them in the description and via Wyatt, who's got his boat for sale. And uh, I hope you found that one interesting. It is a little bit different to what we normally do, but uh, we do like to cover all the bases here on Aquaholic. Thanks very much for watching that one. If you enjoyed that video, do give the thumbs up a click. It always helps analytics. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button. We've got loads more great stuff coming. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.